All right, today I am starting a new project. I'm gonna make a, a tree out of some vines that grow naturally on my property. Let's see if I can show you where we're at here. So I'm gonna use the same vines that I used on this handrail that I just recently made. And all the ones on the inside are vines that grow here on my property. I'm, I'm gonna make a, a tree of sorts uh by using them so show you how we're going to get started so i've got this piece as my centerpiece maybe uh five six foot tall i'll cut it to fit later on the ground here are different vines that i've picked up that i'll be able to shape and do with what i want so i'm going to start cutting and shaping and, and forming a tree uh, I've got my skill saw out to cut the angles and I'll be attaching these with uh, one and a quarter inch uh, deck screws and overlapping. So I'll share that with you as we go. All right, so I'm now are screwed in my first two pieces. That'll be the bottom of the tree along here using some screws, using a uh, vice grip to hold them a little bit and it'll be turned up onto its left as we start uh, going up with the branches. So I'm gonna continue cutting pieces individually and scaling up the centerpiece. So all my cuts are being made like this or I can stick them on the tree mainframe and have the width that I'm looking for. So here's where I am so far. I've been working out here a couple hours. I want to show you how I've attached these branches. I'm using screws now. I'm going to try some long uh, staples as an alternative so the wood doesn't split. But it's coming out pretty well uh, for my first attempt ever. So that's where I'm headed. I'm going to keep working my way to the top. A little uh, tip that might help. I got to a point now where I really need to be able to look at it standing up, figure out where the holes are, keep it symmetrical. So I just shot a one by one here on a post and I've got it wired up. And now I can actually look at it the way I want it and keep progressing up the top. Uh, something that'll help you out when you're uh, doing this yourself. All right, so you can see how the tree's coming along. I had a friend loaned me his compressor and staple gun. I'm using an inch and a half staples. So that's where I am now to uh, be able to finish it. So let me show you a couple of the things that I've worked on. All right, so you can see on the bottom, I cut pieces of wood to use as a stand. So I've put four of those around each, or four around the entire thing. And that's gonna be my stand to make it uh, still look as natural as can be. I'm gonna go up here and you can see where the staples are now going in, which is far better than the screws. It also prevents splitting. And now I'm gonna step away from it. You can see where we're at. So that's the tree standing on its own. And I still wanna taper all the way to the top and then it, it's gonna be about done. Mm -hmm. Alright, this is pretty much the finished project. I'm going to do some touch up on it. Um, use some bark and glue on the uh, some of the staples that I just noticed, but by and large, nobody's going to worry about it too much. So let me get you a long view. All right, so I'm gonna do a second tree just cause I really know what I'm doing now, or I think I do. Went ahead and put the uh, leg braces on first and I'll start at the bottom and, and build up like I did the uh, big one. This one is about half the size of the uh, one that's also in this video. <laughs> 